David. Alright. Looking at some stuff. We are back at the storage locker. Yeah. Hello and welcome back. This is Mad Dog. Mad Dog. Oh God! Mad Dog! You're not buying it? No. Nope. I don't know about you. This is David from Atomic Candy and, of course, the lovely Miss Lady Pop Hunter. We are open by chance. And we went back to the massive, epic storage locker pick. 20,000 plus action figures and toys. No joke. Loose and boxed. Uh, vintage and almost modern. Because yeah, a lot of it's... too much. Yeah, because some of it is 90 stuff. And... We've got a lot of people that uh, have been comp contacting. I've get, been getting Instagram uh, questions and stuff. Can you send me a price list? And it's like, I don't own the locker, okay? <laughs> I don't own it. I don't own it. I don't work for the guy. Not getting anything for doing this. The reason we're doing the video is to share with the action figure slash toy collector community in case you get an opportunity to go out there. Because basically the way this, guy, this works is the guy looks it up and... You're not going to, um, you're probably not going to pay more than like half of what it's going for because he's yeah. just trying to get rid of the stuff. He's very reasonable. So if you can get into the, is it Buford? Uh, yeah, Buford, Georgia. Yeah, Buford, Georgia. If you can get out there and, you know, we'll put the guy's number again, text him to make an appointment, um, you might get an opportunity to get down there and take advantage of this like massive storage locker pick. So we're going to go ahead and show you some more footage because he moved his locker to a larger one. and he Which had, is actually better yeah. because it's more spread out and you can see better and move around better. Yeah, so he moved, he condensed because he had three like automobile sized lockers and he moved, he's moving them to like a ginormous one. Yeah. And so we got some film, film footage of that. We'll show that to you, um, us on the hunt, uh, cherry picking through the lockers, and then we're going to show you what we got. So we'll be right back. David. All right. Looking at some stuff. We are back at the storage locker. Yeah, got a few things. And he moved things around. Uh, so it's when we came here the first time, it was three. So he consolidated in a two. You got one huge storage locker and this one still. So we're going to go to the huge one in a little bit. Yeah. Um, so he consolidated it from three to two. But he still got the same thing. But he just um, bought one big storage locker. The 18 inch, I think that's NECA Sin City. Yeah. He has another NECA here too, I saw, because some people were asking about NECA. And not that uh, yeah. I put it somewhere. Put something somewhere. Mm hmm Because I saw a NECA symbol and I looked at it. Lupin. Cowboy Bebop. Mm hmm uh, I'm pretty sure there's some Sin City stuff in the unit that we consolidated. Oh, okay. I remember these. I remember when people would Oh, this is Kick it. their butts to get these. What'd you find? This is the NECA that I saw. Oh, it's Harry Potter. Yeah. NECA Harry Potter. We saw those you the last the time. You have the Ninja Turtle Space Cruiser. Mm-hmm. Playmates. Where is that? It looks like a newer one. Yeah, because you can see Two, by the writing. 2004. Bunch of books. Yeah, guides. Some Barbies. Mm -hmm. Hannah Barbera. Yeah. Has a few. He got a uh, family guy. Yeah. They look like they dominate. Memory lane. Shrek 2? I didn't know they did figures for Shrek. Looks yeah, like he got the whole... Uh, that's true. Looks like he got the whole thing. 
the mask. David finding something he got to knock over. Oh, that's that guy, Indiana Jones. Yeah, it's a newer one. The Gerber baby. They know they do the doll of it. I guess it's not surprising. Pocahontas and a Superman. David looking for snaps. Um, yeah. So we're in the big one. So like we said, he consolidated the lockers into two. So this is the bigger of the two. And he has it really nice and organized. You can see a lot more than before and as you can see i'm walking around i'm just trying to show how big it is right now then we'll get back to um doing some looking but um yeah this is the bigger right, one he consolidated into, everything stuff, over uh, first, um uh, here so he know, has that smaller locker that we showed already and then um this big one right here Let's see what David's doing. He's having a field day. He's doing flips. There he goes. He's looking. and um, Over here is all spawn stuff. In this box is Diamond Select. I looked through them. It's all the same thing, though. Um, whatever this is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All of this over here is spawn. Everything is spawned. And he's still bringing stuff too he, that they couldn't finish. Yeah. So, we got room. See some Star Trek oh, stuff. You see, see some Rambo because he loves that neck of Rambo. That yeah. neck of Rambo. Oh, that looks good. Yeah, that's a nice find. Mm hmm. That's real good. And we see some Thundercats over here. This looks like a living dead, but it ain't. Oh, Twilight. And oh, a lot of these. Yeah, these are more NECA. They get a bunch of NECA Sin City if anybody's looking for Yeah, those. he had he said it was a bunch of uh Sin City and he has some more here. Yeah. Um I don't know what Sin City that's that video game, isn't it? That Sin City is a video game. I no, think. Sin City was a comic book and, and, and then it was made into a movie. Okay. Uh, he's gonna come back here in a minute too, so but I think he's gonna look at some cards up there real quick first, so Okay. Y'all okay? I'll just leave y'all. Yeah, we. No, all right. Okay, so we're gonna get to looking, and if yeah, we see anything. We can stay in budget. Yeah, no. Uh -huh. The Hulk. <laughs> Wendigo. Oh. You got Captain America shield and all their heads on his waist. Get these. But it's the maestro. Mm -hmm. Oh, let me get it. Okay. Yeah. Let's get it. Take this. We saw those. Too. You can see more now because um because he moves some stuff around. And there's more space. You can see a lot more of the figures. So, um, just wanted to make sure that we're seeing. Are these all Captain America? Yes, they are. They're all the same figure. There's a lot of Marvel DC. 
yeah DC is behind me um, this right here on this wall or aisle this is all uh, Marvel and then we gonna be moving into Transformer and G.I. Joe as we go down oh that's a Silver Surfer that's Nova no, Nova from the Silver Surfer yeah the Silver Surfer on the top Silver Surf is replaced if we refuse to work for Galactus anymore. The thing. Oh, that's a cool one. Mm Ultimate Lizard. Then you got some X-Men and Spider-Man and Iron Man. This is an X-Men or X-Woman, whatever. Yeah. Those are just those itty bitty things. Yeah. Those. Superhero Squad. You give those to your kids. That's what I used to do. Make them play with that. It's all the same thing, I think. Uh-huh. And then over here, we're getting over to tri uh, Transformers. So you just got a lot of Transformers here all the way up to the top. And it's just this one shelf, but it's about, let me see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven uh, shelves. And then you're starting to get up here. You're starting to get to the G.I. Joe show. Got a couple of Transformers right there. And then we're moving back over to G.I. Joe again. Over here on the side of this ladder. Okay, and behind us we got some Star Wars. And some big box sets up there at the top. If you can see them. I think um, from what David said, these are the 90s Star Wars. So it's nothing real old as far as like 80s and earlier. These are all 90s, I believe. Sure, but that's what he said. So, and then we are getting over a couple of more Star Wars. Then you're getting over to the Batman, the DC stuff, Justice League, and Supergirl, and Batman animated, Superman. This is the box that David has created. More DC. And we are back. Yes, we are back. So let's go ahead and start taking a look at some of the stuff that we've got. And this one right here, I have my eye on. It is the Major Matt Mason Mattel's Man in Space Space Crawler. And yes, it is in here. And obviously this is used and you're going to be extremely hard pressed to find anything from this era that isn't. And the box is intact. And here is your Matt Mason Crawler. It does not have the paperwork. But I'm going to go ahead and see if I can get this working. You know, I have some, some experience with that. I don't know if it works yet or not, but for the price, I couldn't resist. The box is intact, and I used to have a complete collection of the Major Matt Masons. So for me, this is, a, this is a great pick. I was really happy to see this there. Also, the wife is very much into connects, and she found some connects there. This is sealed. And it is the Cobra's Curse dueling coaster, roller coaster. You can see the scale here. This is like, what, three and a half feet tall? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's pretty big. 
It's yeah. pretty big. This is uh, not a cheap set, but she got a great deal on it. Mm -hmm. As well as a case completely full of additional connects, which was pretty cool. Yeah. I know we got everything on the floor down here. We have also, can you give me those two bags? And some of you probably won't recognize these, but I'm going to show you here. These are uh, Ray Harryhausen vinyls from uh, Clash of the Titans. What is it, 1983, I think? And there's Talos. And I have also the Griffin. And it, he's, they're still sealed in the like cello shipper bags. But they've got the hang tags. This is how it would have been actually in the case. And then the retailer would tear this bag off and then display it on the counter. And you can see the retail tag still in there. But, you know, big Ray Harry housing fan and couldn't resist grabbing a couple of these. So that was nice. Can, uh, grab, yeah, you might as well grab those two figures. Here's one that a lot of you will probably recognize. NECA Rambo First Blood. Get that sculpt. He's bleeding all down his arm and onto his hand. He's got one extra hand. His 50 caliber. I like this. It's a good movie. It's a good movie. The other the other Rambo films are like shoot 'em up films, but the first one is actually a good story. And she got, because you know she can't resist it. <laughs> Billy Graham. In the pink suit, she found another Jack's Pacific action figure. And I guess this one is just a series of Billy Grahams. <laughs> I don't know what's up with that. What was this, 2003? Or does it even say 2005? Mm -hmm. 2005, when it was still WWF, I think. No, they had already moved into the WWE. Did they in 2005? Mm -hmm. I'm not sure. Yeah. I don't know. We weren't watching it then. So. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you're right, because it says World Wrestling Entertainment. Mm -hmm. Billy Graham. And she has a ton of peanuts. Who knew these were out there? These are peanuts action figures. And when were these made? They are made by Playing Mantis. I remember Playing Mantis. 2002. 2002. 2002. By Playing Mantis. And they have the Great Pumpkin Charlie Brown series. Oops. Snoopy and Woodstock. It's a Great Pumpkin Charlie Brown. <laughs> Good old Charlie with his uh, costume so you can dress him up. Oh, and there's a Magic Motion little disc on there so that you can see him putting it on. That one has a little yellowing, but it's yeah, not Yeah, on the too very bad. top, there's a little yellowing. Yeah. And you can see how big the set is on the back there. And they all come with a, um, a stand, and the stands all interconnect. And you can connect them all together to the doghouse playset that's pictured up top there. There's uh, Lucy with the kite, and this is part of a different set. This is part of the good old Charlie Brown set. So I remember playing Mantis. Uh, back in the late 90s, but they made a bunch of these, and she found a bunch of them for a really good price. Director Charlie from A Charlie Brown Christmas. <laughs> and small Snoopy and Woodstock. And this looks like a revisited Great Pumpkin Charlie Brown set. This is yeah, from a different a year. Smaller. Yeah, because this one says 2007. So this is a reissue. And then do uh, you want to get the you want to do the rest of your Charlie Brown or do you want? She went nuts on the Charlie Brown stuff. There is the pumpkin patch series and it's got a little button. I think it works. Let me see if I can find it. Because it's hard to tell where the button actually is. It says try me and you reach in here. It's like, what am I reaching for? I got it to work yesterday. I can't see what I'm supposed to press. There we go. Is this it? Yeah, it lights and it up. Lights up. <laughs> and 
then that makes all kinds of noise. And Great Pumpkin Charlie Brown boxed set. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> I know. That's a neat. That's neat though. Mm -hmm. Look at the original price on that. Twenty six ninety five. Pay that one. Whoa! I know, huh? I'm glad you didn't. And then uh, good old Charlie Brown, and there's Schroeder. And it looks like kind of, you know, they just sort of rehash the same figures. Because if you look here, see the nest and the Snoopy and the little Woodstock? Yeah. And they just kind of put re everything in it. one. They repainted it because mm -hmm. this nest is brown and this one is yellow, you know. But that's pretty cool. I like those. And I got these, and I know you can pick on me if you want to. That's his, not mine. Yeah. I got a soft spot for Smurfs, and even though these are repros, I think these are the ones that they did in 2007, and they're like reproductions of the original, like late 70s, early 80s KO houses. But I've got a soft spot for Smurfs. These are sealed. I know you probably think I'm silly, but mm. whatever. I am not worried about it. <laughs> and, uh,. So those of you who thought I was silly, how about this? How about the Thor Buster Iron Man with the Modok Build-A-Figure part? You don't see these very much anymore, Thor Buster. Six pieces and you can build Modok. Get that original price that's on there, 488 KB Toys. Remember KB Toys? That's a good price. Yeah, it is, or it was. Not enough Marvel for you? How about Hulk Outcast's Wendigo? He's got actual hair. See, that they put like doll hair on his arms. <laughs> <laughs> Outcast's Wendigo. And I guess, is that, um, oh, it's just an instruction. There's an instruction on the back for the little creature that's with them. I don't know who that is, though. Gamma Blaster. Desert Mutants, and you see the explosion in the background there of these figures. But you know, that's not enough Marvel. We're going to do one more for you. How about the Maestro? The Maestro with all of his trophies, who of course is basically Old Man Hulk. Also part of this series. Toy Biz made a lot of stuff in the 90s, but it's the stuff they made towards the tail end before basically they stopped making the figures that are the hardest to find. I know there's a couple of people that are looking at this and they're like, oh man, come on. And for you Joe fans, how about the Ninja Force Storm Shadow mint on the card? 1991 Hasbro. Look at that price tag. Two ninety-seven. That's a good price. Yeah, it is. It's a good card. This card is really nice. The only uh, thing is, oh, there's a slight curve to it, but it's not wrinkled or cracked, so you know that can be straightened out. Not punched, but that's all right. You just don't find these that often anymore. And. The Joe Lanta, Toy Lanta, Joe Lanta, 2010 HO Odyssey convention only figure. Are you going to review that? Yeah, I think I will do a review of this because this has never been out of the box. And because he has that piece of paper that's behind him there, it's got patches that you're supposed to like iron onto his sleeves. So this has never been played with. He's got the little kit here and it's got the tape on it on the little box. Mm. So this is, you know, this is still sealed. It says uh, it's got like biohazard. But yeah, I might do a review on this one. I've never even seen this one. You know, I've seen some of the convention exclusives. I don't think I've seen this one. So I'm like, yeah, that is pretty cool. It's not something you find every day. And, you know, just demonstrating a, a nice little variety of different things here to give you the idea that yeah there is a lot of different kinds of stuff in there and there's more that we probably didn't even see 
So we will probably be going back again sometime in a few weeks. I know there's a few people that have been asking that, hey, man, I want to come with you. But when this guy opens up his locker, because I guess he's got a lot going on, when he does open up, they can't make it. <laughs> they can't make it. So that's what we picked up. Tell us what you think. Um, like I said, I'm going to put this guy's information. Text him. He would prefer that you text to ask questions. And, you know, maybe you can schedule to get down there and take a look around. I hope that you can. Maybe you find uh, some nice stuff. Get some good cherry picking going on and do a video of your own. Mm -hmm. Some of you might be able to do that. That would be cool. Anything else? No. Nope. Nothing else? Come on. What's wrong with you? Yeah. <laughs> That's fine. Anyway, uh, please give the video a thumbs up if you got something out of it. Check out the other pick video from this locker. I'll put a link to it down below if you haven't seen that one. The epic pick. And it is every bit as much as it looks like. And more because he has more than what's in the lockers. Yeah. He has a lot. And he has a store. So he has put a store. that video in there because um some of the stuff that's at the store, of course, is not in the thing, but he got a lot a lot of different things at the store and no, it's a it's a store at a flea market so it's only yeah. open like a one or two days a week saturday and sunday yeah so you might be able to get down there and take a look there too and the pricing there is pretty reasonable too and he'll work with you like yeah. i said it's not like you're probably not you know and i'm not trying to put words in the guy's mouth but you're probably not going to pay you more than half of what you would normally expect to pay for this stuff mm -hmm. so he, he is He's really just trying to move it along. And so it, it's a it's a great opportunity for collectors. And he likes dealing with collectors. He likes feeling like, I was talking to him yesterday, he likes feeling like he's putting back in. So, you know, if somebody comes and they're getting the stuff and they're going to keep it, like, this ain't going anywhere. I'm keeping this. You know what I mean? If, if, it's, um, if you're a collector and, yeah, you just enjoy collecting and you're going to keep this stuff and you're not trying to flip it, He's got a he's got a, a spot in his heart for you, so that's pretty cool. So like, share, subscribe, yep. um, hit the notifications icon if you're new. Check out some of the other videos. Uh, we do a lot more than picking videos. We try to do a lot of different things on the channel, and the more of you there are, the more we can do here. Yay. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you again soon.